Hey and welcome to another quick tip guide for Greedfall. Just a mini walkthrough here on how to unlock that gate behind me without wasting any allocated skill points or wasting any coins. So for those of you who want to know how to get to this area or how to unlock the quest or why the cog is not working for you, start from the beginning. Otherwise for those of you who are already at the mines progressing the quest and want to know the best way to unlock that gate without wasting a skill point or wasting your gold coins, then skip to the point in the description of the video and you'll go straight to the mine area. Now you want to progress one of the main missions which you'll get at the very start when you reach New Serene. You want to do the Battle of the Red Spears. Up the top there of New Serene is where it is. Now after you have completed that quest, so again after you've completed the quest, head back to Constantine, our old mate here, Constantine. Uh, exhaust the dialogue and that'll progress the quest and he'll, he'll go tell you to speak to Lady Morange about some ruins. Now, Lady Morange is that circle door there on New Serene map, so let's go pay her a visit. So, we'll head on outside, down the stairs into the main, main town square, admire the new statue the people are building of you, I assume. Now, just in this little courtyard here, to the left, big green door, is where Lady Morange resides. Have a chat with her, and uh, exhaust some dialogue, and ask about the... Uh, battlefield and she'll tell you about the ruins. So what we can do now is head to the ruins. Now the ruins is over here and basically on this part of the map is the old mines camp otherwise you'll probably start where that circle is when you first reach the area but where that green pointer is is where the mines are. So I've already unlocked the camp area just nearby the green pointer. So when you get here basically make your way to this point and uh, there is a merchant here. Now one of the ways to get the cog to open the gate is you can talk to this merchant and he actually sells the cog. But uh, look, he's selling it for 40 gold coins. Bit of a jib. And if you're a bit stingy, especially when you're playing on extreme mode where you're only finding one or two gold coins here and there, that's a lot of money. So what we can do is not buy that from him. Uh, you can speak to this NPC here to progress some more dialogue about the mines. And now we're going to head straight into the mines, just straight ahead there in the distance. So here we are in the mine. A lot of it is blocked off. You will find a recipe on how to make a cog, which you need to craft. Now, just behind the NPC up this ladder is where we want to head to. And uh, this is where the locked gate is that leads to progress the ruins mission. To the right there's another passage which will be blocked off if you have not unlocked the mission yet. Otherwise, because I've progressed the mission, you can actually go right there. But we're going to go straight ahead here. And as you can see, there is the gate with the little fluffy dog on the other end. Isn't it so cute? But yeah, there's the wheel that you need the cog for. And as you can see, you've got the recipe to make the cog. But um, we can't use it yet because we're going to make it. So there you have it. There's the gate and we need to fix the cog with the recipe that you find in this mine area. So back down the ladder where the NPC is and over here is the crafting table. Now this is where you can actually make the cog but as you can see it's got a red lock on it because you actually need to invest a point in crafting. And as you can see I'm not investing in crafting. Being a technical build I'm investing in other things like science. So if you don't want to waste a skill point in crafting, what you can do is head on over here and just in this room there is a chest. Now in this chest is an item, it's not a random loot drop because I've seen other playthroughs where that item is in the chest. It's the blacksmith's gloves and there's a stat on that glove is what we're going to look at. So in here, the blacksmith's gloves and as you can see it gives you crafting plus one. Excellent. So you've got to really pick that up. So now we can do crafting with these gloves. So we'll head on over to the bench. I've got the gloves on and now the cog lock will be green. There you go. It's green. I can now craft it wearing these gloves without having to invest in a skill point. So if I go over to my uh, skills over here, I'll take the glove off. That gives me the crafting and I no longer have that crafting skill anymore as you can see. Now if I go and try and craft the gloves, 
it's now going to have a red lock on it. See? Red lock. Alright. So there you have it. I'll put the gloves back on and give me my crafting skill point back so that way I can craft it. So there you go. You don't have to waste your 40 gold coins on the merchant to buy the cog and you don't have to invest in a skill point on crafting to make the cog. You can just put these gloves on and that'll give you the crafting point you need to make the cog. Okay, so now that we've made the cog, we'll hold on over here, put it on, and presto! Now we can go pat our new furry friend over there. Hey there, buddy! Alright, so that's one way to get to the gate, and the best way. There is an alternate way, being a technical build like myself, uh, investing in the science. The first point in science allows you to break weak walls. Now, this area here to the left that is now unlocked, because I've unlocked the quest, normally it'll be blocked off if you haven't, there's a little crack here, you can actually just break the wall with that science skill, you just do Expectus Protonus and there you go, broken, we can get through now and if we head on up this passageway here and just up this ladder you can see straight ahead and just beyond here, up here, is the walkways that you would have seen through the closed gate below so now that we're up here, we look down and there is the lock gate which is just below there Okay, so they're the ways of getting into the gate. You can either spend your 40 gold coins on the merchant, or you can waste an allocated crafting point to make it. Otherwise, the way I've just come through here now, using your first science skill to blow up the wall. Otherwise, just put on a pair of gloves, which will give you a crafting point to make that cog. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing and drop us a like, and yeah, I'll see you all next time.